welcome to your first violin lesson. Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. If you would like to learn how to play on a violin, you've come to the right place. I'm going to show you how to hold the violin. I hope you have one already. If not, then check out in the description box below. I'm going to put some links for you so that you can get your violin set and then you can get started. So, first of all, you take the violin and hold it here like this and then you turn it up and put it on your left shoulder right here so as soon as you've done that then try to readjust it a little bit so it doesn't look too far away and it doesn't land somewhere on your chest but so that it looks like an extension of your body. The most important thing here is not to press too hard and to make sure that it doesn't hurt your bone here. Some people are very sensitive here, so don't press too hard at the beginning. Just stay very relaxed and just practice this a couple of times. Let's do this together. So take your violin here. Your thumb is on the other side. I'll show you exactly what it looks like. Let's put the violin on your shoulder. Just do it slowly a couple of times and then take it down again. And just try it slowly up onto your shoulder. And then you put your head down onto the chin rest, like this. It's very important not to turn your head because otherwise you're going to get a sore neck. So it's very important to look straight ahead and to make sure to simply put your head down a little bit like this it's fine but don't turn it to the left and then after you've done that a couple of times comes step number two is to let go of your left hand so if you're doing everything right then you will be able to hold your violin like this without holding it with your left hand Make sure you're standing in front of your couch or in front of your bed and then let go of your hand. Try to get comfortable with this posture. You might not manage to do this in the very first lesson. You might not even manage to do this in the second or third lesson and that's fine. If you're just feeling comfortable with holding your violin like this, it's absolutely fine for the first couple of weeks. Keep practicing it in front of your bed or in front of your sofa so that in case you lose your violin it doesn't get broken. Do this every day for a minute or two. Do it with me right now if you manage. If not, simply put your violin on your shoulder and your head on the chin rest. Your jaw should be on the chin rest, not your chin actually. I don't know why it's called chin rest. It's a wrong name. <laughs> And the other important thing is that you definitely need a shoulder rest. I highly recommend this one. It's called KUN. Hope you can see it. Kuhn Rest. It's made in Canada. And it's really, really good. It basically never gets broken. Well, I've never experienced it getting broken with any of my students and I had it since many many years so this is a really really good shoulder rest and the shoulder rest is very important because if you hold your violin without the shoulder rest you're going to have to put up your shoulder and hold it like this and it doesn't look very good it doesn't feel good and also when you hold your violin here it won't sound as good as if you just put your shoulder rest there and then the wood can vibrate freely and the sound is much better. That's what I think. I definitely recommend a shoulder rest. I know some violin teachers say it's not necessary, but I definitely think it's really, really comfortable, especially for beginners and especially if you want to learn how not to hold your violin with your left hand, because if you hold your violin with your left hand, you won't be able to be totally free here. And that's very, very important. But that will come later. Let's practice our violin posture one more time. Up onto your shoulder, 
head down, never turn it, just put it down and relax and if you feel comfortable enough, then let go of your left hand. You know how to hold your violin, congratulations! And now I'm going to show you how to hold your bow. The bow is made out of the bow stick, a hair, then here this tiny bit, we call it frog, here we have the screw, and in order to hold it, you need to curve your thumb, curve your thumb and put it right between the frog and the bow stick, with the tip of the finger. So it's very, very important to curve your thumb first, make sure not to bend it like this or to hold it straight because it's very, very important for producing a good sound in your violin to curve your thumb. Then comes your middle finger, comes down to the bow stick with this first line on your finger and then those two fingers, they build a circle. So let's try this one more time. One, two, and as soon as you got these two fingers on your bow, then you just simply drop the other three fingers onto your bow. Make sure the pinky is there, the tip, and the other three fingers are lying on the bow. They are lying on the bow with this first line, like this. So do it a couple of times. It's basically three steps. One, two, and three. Make sure that your fingers are curved. Make sure not to put them up like this so the whole thing looks like a mountain. <laughs> Make sure not to bend your wrist like this and hold it under the bow. It has to be relaxed like this and keep doing these three steps over and over again so that you learn it. One, two, three. And again, one, two, three. Another important thing is to never ever touch your bow hair because it usually gets dirty really fast and then you won't be able to produce a good sound in your violin you do that. So always just hold the bow stick with your left hand when you practice your bow hold and keep trying again. First of all, relax your right hand, then curve your thumb, put it between the frog and the bow stick, then comes the middle finger, they build a circle, and then come the other three fingers. Make sure that the pinky is there with the tip. Then when you let go, you will notice how hard it actually is to hold the bow like this. So you don't have to do that at the beginning, you can just hold the bow with your left hand and just practice the bow hold. One, two, and three. You can also practice the bow hold on a pencil. One, two, and three. Here you don't have a frog, but still, better than nothing. So if you're somewhere where you don't have your bow with you <laughs> and you want to practice your bow hold, go ahead and do one, two, and three. And make sure the pinky is there, the tip, your thumb is curved and all the other fingers are curved as well and your wrist is nice and relaxed. Now you know how to hold your violin and your bow. Let's try to do the whole thing together. First you take your violin Turn it around, put it on your shoulder, and then without turning your head anywhere, just put it down onto the chin rest. Then comes the bow, hold it with your left hand. If you can, if this is too much for you, then you take your bow first. Go one, two, three, and then take the violin. Yeah? But if you can do this, then simply hold your bow with your left hand and go one, two, and three. And really do this a couple of times. Make sure you curve your thumb. I can't stress it often enough. It's very, 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 very important because later on, if your thumb is bent, 
then it won't allow all the other fingers to be flexible. Let's do this again. One, two, and three. And then you can put your bow onto the strings. But this is going to come in the next lesson. Today I showed you how to hold your violin and how to hold your bow. And in the next lesson we're going to learn how to play on the open strings of your violin. So this is a very, very exciting journey. I hope you enjoyed this video. If yes, then remember to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and share this video everywhere. If you know anyone who would like to learn violin and doesn't have a violin teacher or violin instructor, then send them to my channel and let's enjoy this together. If you didn't understand something about how to hold your violin or the bow, write down your questions in the comment section below and I will either answer them here or I'll make another video just for you.